I don't know where to begin with this video, to be honest with you guys. I don't know. I don't know how to start this at this. Wow. This news. Let's just begin. Okay. So, if you guys didn't know, if you guys are living on a rock or you guys never heard about it, um, Kyle Larson is in trouble for saying a particular word that should not have been said. An excusable word. It's a racist word. Okay, so let me get so let me get to this. All right, so if you guys didn't know, last night um, there was a i racing race going on for NASCAR that took place at the Monza Oval. It was Landon Castle's Monza Madness. It had sixty two cars and. It had Alan Beswick, his first time commentating a race since the 2018 uh, IndyCar race at Detroit, the dual races. And let's be honest, that was the only reason why we were watching the Monster Madness, because Alan Beswick was there. That was the only reason why I was watching. Beswick was there. If, um, if he wasn't there, to be honest, I wouldn't have watched. And honestly, I regret watching that. Because the race, as always, because it's eye racing, a shit fest with no cautions. But that is not what I'm going to talk about. If you guys want me to do a separate video about the Monza Madness, I will do so. And yeah, if you guys want me to do that, I'll do so. Anyway, so Kyle Larson said the N word. I kid you not. I wish that was fake news. I wish this was a made-up story, but unfortunately, it's not. So, as of right now, in the video, during the making of this video, Kyle Larson is indefinitely suspended from NASCAR, suspended from iRacing. Um, I think Chevrolet dropped him, or he's suspended from Chevrolet. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. And um, yeah, it's not looking good for Kyle Larson. That is a big yikes. Even Bill Lester is on Kyle Larson's case about that. That's uh, wow. I that's just a wow. Okay, so I know Kyle Larson is definitely in the wrong for saying that. And he did make an apology video. All right. I know some people are just going to say, oh, oh, the N-word is just a word. No, it's not, you ignorant people. It, it is a word you shouldn't have, you should not be saying whether you're in a public live stream a public lobby or a private lobby like that's inexcusable to say the word like what is the excuse of saying the n-word no reason there is none the answer is no no excuses i'm definitely disappointed carl larson don't get me wrong he's not i just hope he's not racist I know he, I know that he wasn't raised that way and whatnot, but that is just, that is just, God, that is just a no. That's just, that's just a big downgrade right there. And what's worse is that it's a horrible look for NASCAR. Why? Because now the non-racing fans, the people who don't watch racing at all, think we're on that stereotype again. Like, who? look at them dumb rednecks. Look at them dumb white people rednecks. 
being all racist and shit. Like, oh, we're a bunch of fucking drunken idiots. And all that stuff. Seeing them race cars going left turns and all that stuff. I, of course, there's going to be that stereotype again. Oh my god, I, this is just a horrible look. I feel like... This is probably off topic, and I apologize for going off topic if I am, but... This is pretty much the point when everything is getting way too serious again for iRacing. That's just a personal thought. But as for Kyle... I, I just don't know what to say. I really have no words about this. I don't know what to say. All I know is that it's a bad look for NASCAR. And I just, wow. I know we all make mistakes and say the wrong things. However, saying it in a public stream from Connor Daly, Joseph Newgarden, and the iRacer who won the race. Yeah, that's. Yeah, he's screwed. How screwed is he? I think it's pretty much gonna be like the Jeremy May, not Jeremy Mayfield, Jeremy Clements deal. Cause Jeremy Clements said the N word and he was suspended for like, I think four races. And, um, yeah, I think, I mean, the suspension's already taken care of. I, I, I applaud NASCAR, Chip Ganassi, and uh, Chevy for suspending him because you're not supposed to say that word or any racist word, no matter what. There's no excuse to say that word, no matter what. You can't say that word. You're not supposed to racist anyway so I won't be surprised if some sponsors um, ditch uh, Larson or Chicken Assey in general or the entire 42 team like I think he'll be suspended for a few apparently he's gonna be suspended until he until the sensitivity training um what Honestly, I don't understand the sensitivity training stuff. I think that's a bit too far, in my opinion. Like, come on, he's not racist. He just said in an, 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 an unexcusable word. That's just my opinion. Whatever opinion you guys have, that's your opinion. All right. Um, so, as long as Kyle Larson gets over the sensitivity training and never says the n-word again or never does anything like that again i think he'll be fine right now it's not fine but after the sensitivity training's over with um i i think everything should be fine from there but unfortunately the memories will still last it's still gonna be on the social media internet and so on. Like, wow. Like, why? I don't understand why he said that. Like, really? If you're trying to get someone's attention, why are you going to say the N-word? I, I know he didn't. I'm sure he didn't know he was on a stream from Joseph or Connor. And the yeah, racer did. I know that. But he still had no he still had no excuse to say that word regardless. There's just no excuse at all. Not only is like a bad look for NASCAR or Larson, but what about Owen Larson, Kyle's son? Owen's starting to learn how to race. How's that gonna look for him either now or in the future? Or what not.
this is just this is just a disaster. I can't think of the last time if we had a we had a disaster like the Larson deal, like the Jeremy Clements deal. Yes, everyone knows that, but it's not really. It wasn't really like oh huge news. Surprisingly, correct me if I'm wrong, but because Larson's in the Cup Series, of course it's a huge deal. That's a big fucking fuck up. I'm deeply disappointed in Kyle Larson, but I think in the future he will redeem himself as long as, as he doesn't do that stupid thing again. All right. Oh boy, if there's something I'm missing out, feel free to tell me in the comments below. I don't wanna get political, but I believe in freedom of speech but just don't be fucking racist and say the racial slurs or say a word that offends people. Like, come on. We're all better than that. And the, I don't, there's no excuse on why to say a racist word or anything that offends people. Like, I applaud Larson for doing the apology video, but it's just a bad look for the sport. So, yeah, I just have no words. I think I've said enough. I hope Kyle Larson learns his, learns his lesson. I know Larson, some Larson fans are not a fan of him anymore. My good friend uh, Hunter, I do Hunter eighty eight. I just got a notification saying that he doesn't support Kyle Larson anymore. I was watching his live stream last night, and he's like, hey, Larson, Larson, no. Like he did say like he's not his number one favorite active driver now. It's Byron, but um, I just got a notification saying that he saying that he doesn't support Kyle Larson anymore. So this is a horrible look for Larson. This is a horrible look for NASCAR. Very disastrous. But not like disastrous, disastrous, but it's just a bad look. Like businesses, insiders on the case, TMZ, of course. What else? God, 2020, it's just horrible. In general. I know some people are like if it wasn't for the coronavirus, none of this would happen. I know. But regardless, you're not supposed to say the N word or any word that offends people or any racial slurs. It's inexcusable. But as long as Larson learns his lesson, I think everything should be fine later on. Not now, later on. So that is it for this episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. I never expected to do this video. So yeah. Alright. I'm gonna end this episode. I will do a Monza Madness um, review. Uh, whenever. So yeah. I'm disappointed. I'm sure you guys are. I'm sure you guys are mad about the situation. I don't blame you guys particularly. Oh, Larson, why, buddy? Why? Why? Is all I can say. This is the Impress 48, and I'm too disappointed to do an outro. Bye, guys. One more thing. I don't tolerate racism. I never tolerate being called the of the offensive word of someone who has a disability like myself. Literally common sense. Common fucking sense. And excusable to say those things. I just have to add that. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.